Hey guys, welcome back to another quick tip. This time I want to talk about stacking cams. And so this is a very useful technique. Uh, we use it a lot in guiding uh, when we're moving our clients through more rambly terrain. But if you're out there with your friends and then you're also working through the rambly terrain, this is a good way to add quick security in an alpine setting. And um, it's, it's quick to go in, it's quick to come out, and it adds quite a bit of security for your follower coming up. So first thing I want to talk about is how we sort of clip our cams together. Uh, one thing that we really want to avoid is clipping anything to the thumb loop. So if this cam is in here, and then I have this cam loaded on the thumb loop like this, or in another situation where I'm loading this and this together, so the thumb loop is getting pulled in two directions, uh, all the cam companies do not recommend having their cams loaded that way. There's also not really any pull testing out there uh, about cams being pulled in that direction or in this orientation. So that's the one thing that we want to avoid with the stacking of the cams. And you'll see when I stack the cams uh, in a little bit, I mainly clip the carabiners to each parts of the webbing because that is just the full strength of slings rather than relying on any weird parts of the cam. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is place my cam in the wall. There we go, there's a nice, good, solid placement. Another thing that really helps when you're stacking your cams is having a nice vertical or horizontal crack, somewhere where you can really take your pick of how you wanna line these things up. For my point four, I'm gonna go in a little bit lower than that, and then I can just measure out a rough equalization between the 0.5 and the 0.4 right here. And so here, the 0.5 sling may be a little bit loose, but that just means that most of the weight is on the 0.4, and if that happens to pop out or blow or whatever, then I have the 0.5 immediately backing it up. And I have it roughly equaled out here, so that way there's relatively no shock loading on that cam. From here, I can take a locker, and I can clip that into the sling. If I wanted to, I could clove hitch myself in here, um, but generally on this terrain or the terrain that we're using this technique for, we, like the leader is comfortable with not being clipped into anything. And then what I do is I just put my rope in, I can pull up the rope until I hit my partner or my client, turn this rope into a mooter hitch, lock that carabiner down. And now I just belay them up as per usual. Once they get to this anchor, I can easily Unlock that carabiner, make another flip in the rope, turn that into a clove hitch, lock my carabiner down, and then I can keep on going with the pitch. And then these two cams are still locking in and holding my partner to the wall. And then once I get up higher and to another secure stance with a good anchor, I can belay them up and they can clean this whole contraption and then move on to the next anchor. Free hanging double rope with hull. It's actually kind of hard to show in the video how big it is. The pell is. There's the tagline. Past halfway. 